Hello and welcome to my channel, Kelly Legends Media. I'd like to thank all of you who have subscribed recently. Also, I'd like to uh, remind everybody, please, uh, put, your, put your notification bell on all. We'll be going live uh, early this week coming up. And uh, I'd like to give everybody the opportunity to the opportunity to get on if they have any kind of questions or or uh, they just want to say hello or whatever the reason they want to just spend, you know spend some time cutting it up we'll be going live uh, sometime early in the week okay so uh, today's video to um, actually this is this is uh, the second video for today and uh, I just wanted to speak a little bit about on uh, our neighbors, you know, the different kinds of the different kind of neighbors, you know, then disgruntled neighbors, man, those uh, angry type neighbors, or you know, just a lot of times uh, you go and you you rent a house and you don't realize what you're getting yourself into, you know, house looks good, everything's cool, you know. Uh, so I'm going to speak a little bit uh, about a few of the neighbors that I've had in the past and uh, and, and had to deal with, you know. And uh, I, I thought of doing this video because of a video I watched about about neighbors like this. If things look different, I, I, I'm in the Beamer, right? and I, yeah, I got tired of, of beating the Jag all the time, so... Uh, I decided to take a ride in the Beamer and pull over and do this uh, do this video here. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I had rented this uh, a little apartment, right? And it was during the time when I was getting my surgeries and stuff on my back and and you know my legs and stuff. And the apartment looked cool, okay. Well, at, at one point, one of my surgeries got an infection, so I had to be on antibiotics. So, besides not being able to move very well, like I, I had trouble going from the bed to my recliner, uh, to the bathroom, like movement was very, very difficult. Because I, I had pretty much all the surgeries done around the same time, you know. Uh, one of them wouldn't have been done except it got infected, so they had to go in, you know, which endangered the other surgery location because the, the infection could have traveled there, and and that was on my spine, which would have been really, really bad thing to have occurred, but it didn't. But anyways, this was during that time when I was in that condition. Uh, supposedly, I wasn't going to ever walk again, according to the doctors, you know, and, and that lying devil, you know. Um, but anyways, so when you're going through stuff like that, man, you, you want to chill. You want to relax, you know, you don't want a, a bunch of noise, a bunch of commotion and all that. Right. You know, so I, I kick back and man, I spent a lot. Of, I think I watched every every single movie on Netflix during that time. But like about a weekend uh, to this. I'm not kidding you, man. They had a tamborazo. For those of you that don't know, that's when uh, it's a small group, usually with uh, with a big tuba, sometimes with a, a trumpets or saxophone, or an alto sax, and, or, and uh, they have a big bass drum and somebody playing the snare drum or, or the timbales, right? Very small group, but very loud. And, and these tamborazos, when they would have them over there at the pad, sounded like they were in the front room with me, you know? Um, yeah, it, it was bad, man. I used to suffer with that. And then they had this, uh, 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 they were, the lady in the front was Catholic, so she had this thing always in the front where, uh, in the front of my house, that uh, they'd set up a tent and people would come and they would pray and sing and they had an accordion, you know, and some guitar players. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It sounded like they were in my front room, you know. But the lady owned the property 
and the kids that had the tamurazo, they lived, they lived upstairs for me, and that was the lady's sons, okay? So, like, I really couldn't say nothing about nothing. I just had to, I just had to, finally, it, it just got too much, you know? And, and I had to shake the spot. Uh, yeah, man, I, I've had to deal with some shit with neighbors. The best thing is to, to get a house, man, a house, and, and for there not to be a house next to you, you know? Uh, this place was a little different because uh, I started walking again and stuff. And, and I, play, I play the drums, I play timbales, I play conga, I play guitar, bass. So I have, a, I, have a, I have a garage, okay, with all these instruments set up. And I go in there and I have a system in there that I play the drums to and stuff, you know. So I get loud too. So I never complain about the kids yelling, the neighbor's dogs barking, uh, none of that. Because when I seen the way it was, I figured, hey, I'm gonna do my thing too, right? And I, and I set up my instruments and, you know, I have a place to practice now. But nevertheless, uh, some dude came over one day and, and tried to sell me some equipment and tore a tent that the neighbor had up. You know, it, it was a tent that went across the walkway. You know, really didn't belong there, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. That 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 didn't bother me. But what bothered me is this kid walks in, and he goes in. He he. There's a long pole in his carrito where he has the stuff, and he tears the tent. And the lady comes out and she's pissed, you know. And then I'm pissed too, cause dudes coming to my house, you know, with all this shit, you know. Like, I didn't know he was coming. And I don't like people just to show up to my house, you know. But anyways. Turns into a big old thing, right? And uh, I'm going to make a long story short, man. Me and this dude get get in an argument, right? And, and, it, and it gets heated, right? To where we're, we're going to get down, right? And when we start to get to it. Uh, he pulls out his phone and he dials nine one one. I told him, I told him, hey man, what the what the fuck are you doing? You know, he tells me, I know you're I know you're on parole right now, and and, and this is a violation, and you're going to jail. And I go, I'm going to jail for what, man? I haven't even laid a finger on you. Yeah, but you threatened me, and, and it's true, man. You threaten somebody, that's uh, they call it a terrorist threat, you know. <laughs> This fool actually down 911. He called me out and thinking that I wasn't gonna fight because like I said, they said I wasn't gonna walk and I'm just getting on my feet and get, you know, I, I, showed, I taught myself how to walk basically. And uh, you know, I guess he thought I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna step up, right? But when I do and I finally, you know, start to get at him, he came out like that, you know? And, and, that was really hard to swallow, you know, because back in the day, I, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, go ahead and call him. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on parole, but I don't care, you know. But I had to think about this because I, I needed still some medical attention and stuff, you know. I was going through some a lot still physically. I was going through it. So I go, man, the county jail, they don't they don't take care of you for shit. So, you know, little things like that, You sometimes you have to you have to take it in the chin. But I told him real quiet by ourselves without nobody else hearing. I told him, hey, when I get off this parole thing, we're going to go to the back, to my backyard, just me and you. And we're going to do this shit, you know. There you go, you see. And he starts dialing the phone again. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man, this motherfucker. <laughs> but anyways, you know, it's just something, you know, when you live right next to somebody, like that is very very hard you know to uh to deal with individuals you know i i've dealt with barking dogs and and all kinds of crazy shit you know uh kids crying and yelling in the middle of the night or early morning hours you know but that's that's part of life you know this was not part of life you know none of this uh 
the tamborazo and all of that, that was not part of it, part of the deal, you know. But like I said, you know, she owned the property and I wish that they would have more consideration, but they didn't, you know. Uh, I've, I've had other neighbors, man, that, you know, have cut down, cut down uh, trees and bushes, you know, that were growing on our side because they could reach them over in our side of the property and stuff like that, you know, and basically just so they could see over, you know, and, you know, it's just sometimes some of the stuff we have to go through, man, with, with our neighbors, you know, it's, it's just part of life. I just thought it would be fun, man, to cut it up a little bit in the comment section and, and you know, because you guys got some good, some good stories, man. <laughs> I'm serious. When you guys take time to share, you guys burn me, man. You blow me out of the water with, with the things that you talk about. I just uh, wanted to do this video and hopefully uh, initiate a little conversation about, about this subject. And here's some of the crazy shit that you guys have been through uh, with neighbors and, and you know, whether it be people living upstairs from you, downstairs from you, on the sides of you, you know, and uh, maybe even across the street, you know, because uh, a lot of times, you know, even uh, people across the street can affect your peace and your peace of mind, you know. If you have like some crazy trap house across the street, you know, and people are breaking into the cars and, you know, uh, taking the lawnmowers and shit, you have to chain everything up, you know, that you own and lock everything down or it's gone you know so there's other ways that that crazy ass neighbors can affect you you know affect your peace of uh, your peace of mind and it's a shame because you pay a lot of money to live where, where, wherever we choose to live you know but it is what it is anyways just a short video just to cut it up and and spend some time with uh with all of you who who, who uh watch kelly legends media so um I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. God bless you and your family. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay free. No matter what. Whatever we got to do, let's do it, man. Let's be out here so we can help and, and be here for our families and our loved ones that need us when they call upon us. Rather than them taking care of us while we're in there uh, for bad decisions we made or for losing our temper and losing our mind uh, behind some idiot's mouth. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.